Welcome, everyone. Um, I may not be here tomorrow. Are you standing back? Carbone is not going to be happy with me. But um, Mr. Carbone is going to be recognized today with an award from the Lions Club, and we have members of the Lions Club who are here to talk to Mr. Carbone. I'm only going to start this. I'm not going to finish it. Okay. First of all, I want to thank you for uh, giving us a little bit of your Monday meeting time. I know how important and valuable it is for all of you, especially getting towards the end of the year, so we won't be long. Uh, we could stop now. <laughs> It ain't gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're here today to recognize and bestow on a member of your school's administration the Melvin Jones Fellowship, which is one of Lions Club's International's highest awards for community service. So I'd like to take this time now to just pass things along to our present Club President Cindy Burke. Mr. Carbone has a strong desire to help families succeed. He realizes that many of the homes he delivered the food could grow some of their own fresh vegetables and roots and plan to offer a training class for families so they can help provide for themselves. State District Governor for the state of Vermont District 45, Pam Nichols. Hi everybody. So I'm just going to read this whole letter, but I kind of think Melvin Jones was the founder of Lions International. He was a visionary. He saw a need in his community, and he took that vision, and he made a group of business people, and he brought them together to service the needs of his community, of the people who may or not be able to afford the things that they need. And to me, after reading and listening, I think you're, you could be a visionary for this community. You are a visionary for this community. You see what needs to be done. You stand there very shyly. You don't want any accolades. We understand that. But when you change the lives of others, I became a Lions Club member because I wanted to facilitate change in my community and help people that I may or may not know. You have done that in this school and I for one am humbled by the fact that I think maybe I haven't done enough. I am truly honored to be here. I came up from Manchester today which is not too far and I am absolutely honored to, to meet you and present you with Melvin Jones. And I do ask that you wear your Melvin Jones Fellowship pin with pride because there's not many people out there who have such an honor. And um, I happen to be one, and I am so happy to have you join our group, and, and we're happy to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, thank you. Uh, this is this is a CHMS. You know, there's a lot of statements in there about I or he. Uh, there's 75 of us who contribute to this and make this happen. Um, you know, Prosper is a huge organization, and I couldn't do that without Rebecca Thompson. You know, the food backpack program, Rebecca Toll. Um, the you know the break boxes, Sarah Villeneuve. You know, Rick Greeno. All it, all of you contribute to it. But it, 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 you know, I none of that in there is would be true if it wasn't for all of you and what you guys do every day. So, 
Uh, we'll hang this up here, so thank you, Camel Top. You guys pulled it off. So I, I appreciate this, and this is uh, a great honor for me. I don't think I've ever been awarded an award before, so. <laughs> thank you very much.